Creating a purchase order. From back office, go to Inventory, then click PO. Click Make New PO. Enter the vendor's name or type the first few letters, then choose the vendor from the drop down. Click PO Number. VRP will automatically assign a PO number, but you can enter a different number if you have your own numbering system. The start ship date defaults to today's date for at once orders, or change this to the date you would like your order to ship. The cancel date defaults to 30 days from today's date. You can change this by clicking the 30, 60, or 90 button, which will add that number of days to your ship date, or you can manually change this to whatever date you like. Open to buy period is usually used to designate a budget period. Choose an OTB period from the drop down. The terms will default to the payment terms you entered when you created this vendor. You can override these if your vendor is offering different credit terms for this shipment. Vendor's PO number can be used as a secondary PO number. Some vendors require orders to be placed using their own purchase orders, which are sometimes numbered. Or, if you place orders online, vendors will often issue an order number or confirmation number that can be entered here. There is also a field for freight terms. You can attach a note to the order, which will also print on the final copy of the purchase order. This can be a note for you, the vendor, or the person who will receive the order. You can choose the stores for which you are placing this order. Click Save Settings to keep these stores checked for future orders. Billing info will default to the billing location you set up, but you can click Edit Billing Table to set up a different bill to. Review your information and click Next. This page shows all products in the system for this vendor. You can choose a single item by highlighting the item and clicking Add. You can hold the Control key while clicking items to add multiple items at the same time, or hold the Shift key and click the first and last item, and all items between will also be selected. You can enter a new product for this vendor by filling in the product information in the top right section of this window. Fill in all of the information and click Create. You can also enter a new color for an existing item. Highlight the item and then click Load Current Product. Type your new color, then click Create. You can enter your order quantities from this screen by highlighting an item and clicking Quantities. Fill in the quantities you are ordering, then click Save. Choose the next item and follow the same steps. When finished, click Next. If you did not enter the order quantities on the previous screen, you can enter them here. If you did enter the order quantities, you can change them in this window. You can also edit the cost and the retail price. The cost and retail you enter here will update throughout the entire program when the items are received. When you are finished, click Save. To print a copy of the purchase order for your vendor, click File, then Print. Choose Print Vendor Format Consolidated and your purchase order will show one total for each product. Use this option if you have a central receiving warehouse that will receive the entire order and forward the appropriate items to each location. Here's what your order will look like. You can choose Print Vendor Format PO per store to generate a separate purchase order for each store. Choose this option if your vendor will be drop shipping each store's shipment directly or if you prefer your vendor to send separate shipments for each location. Here is what the PO will look like for location 1 and here is location 2 and location 3. Click the X's to exit the windows, save your store selection, and click Bye Bye to exit the PO module.